Hey there fellow Segudo golfers, Tom Segudo here with your weekly e-tip. And this week once again, got something out of the Golf Digest book I want to talk to you about because I think it's very important. We need to understand what we're actually learning in the Golf Digest and if it can be used in your golf game. We have to be careful of everything we read because there are many different competing philosophies and if you start mixing elements of these different philosophies which are in a Golf Digest magazine, you can put your game down a path to trouble. This week I'm talking about something very small, but it can have an adverse effect on your golf game. So let's dive into the article. This week's article, how to get more out of your full swing shots, how to hit the ball farther. And we're looking at just a simple tip that says stand wider. And the reason we stand wider, according to this tip, is it helps shallow out your angle of attack which is going to help you hit more solidly using the club's proper loft. Also, it says that this will help you prevent the common fault of swinging with the weight on your back foot to try and help the ball up. Your weight should shift into your lead foot in the downswing. So I want to talk about the first one here. It helps shallow out your angle of attack. I have seen many golfers swing the club a thousand different ways. I've seen various stances, postures, and all of these things boil down to the setup. And the stance width is one of those setup elements. I've seen people take very narrow stances and very wide stances, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the angle of attack into the ball. And this is why this is a dangerous article, because moving your stance width is really a preference. I can change the angle of attack into the golf ball many different ways. And I'll just show you that golfers that are always swinging over and across their body like this, they say they're over the top type situations. I've seen golfers swing over the top with a wide stance and with a narrow stance. I've seen golfers hook the ball and swing too much into out with a narrow stance and a wide stance. So the point here is changing your stance width has nothing to do with the angle of attack into the ball. I personally used to have a wide stance and I used to swing over anyway. So let's just debunk this right now and say that we don't need stance with the judge and dictate any of our ball flight. Your angle of attack into the ball and what angle of attack is, is how sharply the club is coming down to the ball. You can have a steep angle of attack where the club is going down to the ball to very very high descent, so a big descending rate, very sharp down to the ground. Or you can have a shallow angle of attack where there's, there's less descent into the ball. It's more of a, a level sweeping. Think of sweeping like this. That's a very shallow angle of attack. We want to strive for a shallower angle of attack. Nothing too steep. If you're too steep, you tend to take very deep divots and you struggle with hitting the ball. Uh, a lot of times pushing the ball up to the right or pulling it. Lots of inconsistency when you're steep. But on the shallow end, you tend to hit the ball thin a lot and you suddenly take a divot. So we need to find a happy medium. And that happy medium exists when you get to the top of your backswing, the club will shallow. You will shallow the club like so. You don't have to widen your stance to do this. I can be a wide stance and do this or this. This is what we want to do, shallow the club. So taking it back, change your angle of attack into the ball by shallowing the club slightly here, and then hit the ball. That will prove to be very beneficial for your angle of attack. And that's what we're trying to get in this article. You will hit it more solidly if you have the right shallowing of the golf club in the downswing. So pay attention to what you're reading out there, fellow Segudo golfers, because what you're reading can cause you to get into trouble. And widening your stance will not fix the angle of attack. It is fixed by you consciously, in the beginning at least consciously, doing this slight shallowing motion. Not you widening your stance. So don't believe everything you read because it's golfing fake news and I'm out here to debunk all that fake news that you are receiving on a regular basis. Tom Segudo here with your weekly e-tip. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a rockin' week, and I'll see you on the range. Thanks for watching.